Today we're gonna to figure out what the hell or all these ram timings mean. <laughs> hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. You're probably wondering, what is Cas9, Cas10, Cas19, t res all these different things? <laughs> Get rid of them all. This video is going to be RAM timings and speed simplified. Please notice on top memory speed, cast latency, TRCD, TRP, TRAS, true cast latency, megabytes per second, complete timings, size of kit, price, brand, and total time per clock cycle in nanoseconds. Now I want you to look at the four that I highlighted in green. The darker the green, the faster the true cast latency is. If you notice, the 2400 megahertz memory is 8.33. 3000 megahertz is 9.33. 3400 is 9.411. And 4000 megahertz is at 9 flat. To get the true cast latency in nanoseconds, you take the cast divided by the RAM speed then multiply that by 2,000. In this example, it's 8.33 nanoseconds for 2,400 megahertz RAM. Now I added a column called total time per clock cycle. Now what I did was I converted the CAS latency, the TRCD, the TRP, and the TRAS all from clock cycles to true latency. That is all nanosecond timings. So the top 4,333 megahertz memory has a 31.387 nanosec timing. So you can clearly see that having 4,333 megahertz is not the way to go for performance. The sweet spot here is at 4,000 megahertz, coming in at 28.250. However, 32 gigs of memory is $512.99 for G-Scale. However, there is a small gap between 2400 megahertz memory and 3400 megahertz memory. There is less than a half a nanosecond difference between the two. You're probably thinking to yourself, Joe Tech, why are you getting so granular with this chart? The purpose of this is to prove that having the fastest speed memory with the current latency that is listed here does not yield the performance that you think you're going to get. As a rule of thumb, you always find the fastest speed memory with the lowest cast latency possible for the fastest performance RAM. However, if you look at the chart, 2400 megahertz RAM and 3000 megahertz RAM are the same in terms of performance. With coming at 10, 12, 12, 28, and 14, 14, 14, 34, yield the same performance output at the end. However, the true cast latency for 2400 megahertz RAM is 8.33, and 3000 megahertz RAM is 9.33, a one nanosecond difference between the two. So in this instance, Purchasing 3,000 megahertz memory would save you $30, which will yield the same performance as the 2,400 megahertz RAM. This chart proves by spending tons of money on high-speed memory does not yield the performance that you think you're going to get. Using this guy will help you determine what speed and cast latency you should be looking for for your next PC build. So if you're interested in 2400 megahertz RAM, I would be only looking at a cast latency of 10. For 3000 megahertz RAM, I would only be looking for a cast latency of 14. And the same goes with 3400 megahertz RAM with a cast latency of 16. These would be the absolute maximum I would be looking for at these particular memory speeds. I hope you enjoyed the presentation I gave about memory speeds and I hope it gives you a kind of a better understanding of what to look for in terms of memory. Because I always want to get the fastest amount of memory and the, the best latency and all these different numbers but if you use this simple guide 2400 megahertz memory latency of 10 
and uh, 3000 for a latency of 14 and, and uh, 3400 megahertz for a latency of 16. If you keep that in your head, then you're always gonna have great performance memory regardless. And the difference between 30, that's if you're looking for it. And the difference between 3400 and 2400 at those timings are so minimal. It's really not really too critical. Some people want like really high performance memory and some people don't, they don't really don't care that it's buy whatever they want to buy. So spending all that money on 4,000 or you know, 4,300 megahertz memory is really not the way to go. It's very expensive. And to spend all that money, you're not going to yield the performance that you think you're going to get. Matter of fact, you get better performance at 3,400 or 3,000 megahertz. At 3,400 at the timings that I have listed blows away 4,333 megahertz by a mile. So um, some people, like I said, some people want to know exactly this, 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 this. And, and I tried to give you that, but in a compact video. I just wanted to give you guys a kind of a, a well-rounded kind of guide to figure out what you need to look for in terms of memory. And I hope I helped. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care and don't forget to hit that bell. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.